Hello Youtubers, I'm here to show you how you can put PlayStation 1 games on your PSP. Well, first of all, activate your PSP. Go to USB connection. The screen will show up. And you will see everything which is on your PSP. Well, just minimize it for this while. And now, take your PS1 disc, PS1 game on disc, and put it in your laptop or computer. Well, this screen will show up. Just close it and activate ESO Buster. The link to ESO Buster will be in about this video description. Well, this will show up, just press no. Well, <coughs> after you activate ESO Buster, this will show up. Just go to Just go to track 01 and go to extract track 01 and then go to extract raw data. Once you've done that, this will show up. Where to put the raw data? Be sure you put the raw data to this one, to this place, to the Autopop Station Four. The link to Autopop Station Four will be in the about this video description. Just press up, and it will extract Tracker One. Well, I will now shut down the camera, and when it's done, I will activate the camera. Again. See, it's almost done. And. Uh, so it's finished. Well, when it's finished, just close Ethel Buster. You don't need it anymore. And open Auto Pop Station 4. The link will be in the video description. Well, when you open Auto Pop Station 4, you will get this. This is the file you just created. Tracker 1 point pin. If there isn't such a file you just created, then you have done it wrong and you have to. We uh, extract track 1. Just copy track 1 you just created. Open out the pop station 4 and copy it to here. No, it takes a while. Well, once when it's done copying, you we'll have a track point 1 bin or your created bin file. Be sure it is in out the pop station 4. Well, after you've done this, you go to Auto Pop Station 4 point back. Click on it. And you will get this. Well, as you can see, tracker one point bin, the file I just created, stands here. If your file you just created doesn't stand here, you have done it wrong. You have to do it again. Well, just type in the name of the bin file you just created. In my case, track 01.bin press enter well after you copied track 01.bin to your bin uh, to outer pop station 4 rename it and rename it to Zero one point bin. Then activate Auto Pop Station Four Point Bat. Well, as you can see here, zero one point bin, the file I just created stands here. If your file you just created isn't standing here, you have done it wrong, and you have to do it again. Well, 
just type in here the file you just created, in my case 01.bin and press enter. Well, this will show up. The name of your game. Well, it is Crash Bandicoot 1, so just type in Crash and One. Well, just type in the name of your game. Press enter. Well, here you will ask for a name fragment. Well, in this case, to be the less specific you are, is the minor results that will be. So, in my case, there is Crash Bandicoot 1. I just type in Crash. <laughs> Be sure it's just a little game fragment of your uh, name of the game. If you do too much, you will don't get the right game. Press enter. Well, as you can see, there are many results to Crash. Well, just get the CD you just put into a laptop or computer for Isobuster take a look at it. You will see here above a number. That number you must find in this list right here. Once you find the number, let's see, ah there it is, my minds, just go down and type the number on your CD in. So, let's see. Press enter. Well, now press the name of the CD. But don't do the minus. We we'll have here between the numbers there will be so a minus. Don't do that one. So just type in what's on your city. As you can see, in here I did with minus, and here I'm doing without minus. Very important. Press enter. Well, it will ask you for the compression level, just press 0, well now it will ask you to press G or D, just press D, and now it will ask you to start uh, converting, well just press I. And press enter. Well, now it's converting the PS1 game.